Look at this place. What's up guys? It's me that's guy and welcome back to the Walking Dead the Telltale Definitive series. When we last left off, these guys managed to get in. We found Kenny. So right now we're in a situation where we're kind of screwed in a way, but we're not. Either way, we'll figure it out in today's video. So before I get more into it, if you guys are not subscribed, please do consider it since I upload daily content every single day and you guys do not want to miss any of it. So yeah, already there should be interesting. I'm really hyped to know what's going to happen and all that. Man, how the fuck are we going to cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. So yeah, Bonnie uh, is going to bad guys. No, she might not be a bad guy, but yeah. <laughs> this dude really stresses me out. Listen, I'm only going to ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Damn. Oh. Rebecca! Damn. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. Yeah. You all play nice. And show your faces. Don't hurt my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No. We have. Here's yeah. Kenny. We have to help Carlos. Yep. The only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If he starts shooting, yeah. people are going to die on both sides. Exactly. <laughs> Clint can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she going to do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Yeah. Just stop. Don't hurt my dad, please. We're going down there. He'll kill you. Okay, and fuck you. Shoot him. Somebody just shoot him. Clem, go get help. He'll kill him back. He'll do it anyway. Whatever. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. Oh, you never did stop. listen. Hurry. Let's see if I can get your attention. Come on, let's find him. So they should be like a hundred percent like over there or somewhere. Got a feeling that one of them's around the corner. Clamp. Where's Luke? God damn. You all right? Where's Luke? Yeah. Hell, I don't know. He was whining about something or other, so I told him to take a hike. Damn. I'll do this, Kenny. We have to try. We have to try. Yeah. Ah! 
Let's go. I don't care. Got it. Yeah, he's gonna kill him. Damn. No! Walt! Oh my god. <laughs> That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Kenny, over there. Hi, Elvin. Bill, no. Damn. Everybody's gonna Let's die. Go! Alvin. Damn. It's a tough shot. You're just What do you think? Clamp. Shoot him. Shoot him. Just try. <laughs> He's not dead. He's not dead! Alvin! Alvin! Rebecca, don't look. Just don't look, Rebecca. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can keep this up all night. Sarita. Don't. We're coming out. Yeah, do it. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. Damn. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. I messed everything up. Right, and here's the worst part of all. I don't really regret it. Yeah, Alvin, I regret it. I wonder how many people screwed up like me. And just like that, end of the season, the uh, chapter, I mean, episode. <laughs> Next time on The Walking Dead, let's figure it out. Honestly, I like the two rednecks. I think that's one of the main reasons why I like Kenny a lot. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. Mm-hmm. Let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. I don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love. Sure we wish that they had. A storm is on the way. Damn. All right, achievement real quick. Thank you. Re reunion. Left to find Kenny. You and fifty-three people. <laughs> Forgiveness, Nick. You and Claire needed Walter to forgive. Yep, I'm happy about that. Because apparently Nick could have died. I wanted to mute the music. I wanted to mute the music. It's two times yesterday's video and today's video. I screwed up. God damn it.
Our disruptor. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? You What's kill the most people. Important thing in this world? People. Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. Over abuse. As a family. Oh my god. Butterfly effect. <laughs> You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Mm. Uh, okay. Thank you, buddy. Like, I'm don't pee. <laughs> Come out all right, girls. Troy, get them tied up. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Okay, Anne? Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? Yeah. And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. I used it to talk to my parents. Is that why you're looking at this one? Or do you want to call mommy and daddy? No, I just want to have a reason to kill you. anymore. My parents are dead. Everybody's parents are dead. And that don't make you special. Oh, well, but my hard. dad's alive. Yeah. And we're all grateful for that. Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Honestly, can't wait to see you die. Either way, I got a feeling that the two other characters, like, would have died either way. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? No. Hey. hey! No, he didn't hurt me. Kenny, don't worry about it. So so far, if I understand correctly, Kenny and his girlfriend are the two only one from that group. If I understood correctly. So I'm happy that two rednecks stick together, you know? All right, we got to do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that going to do? What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything. All right. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. 
You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now Ooh. it's fucking Bill. Yeah. Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. Yeah. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? You could have warned us. Yeah. You didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back uh, at the lodge. Uh, and I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin. Boy. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Sh shut up! That he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, yeah. you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Oh. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. Can you he, ever been a Kenny, prisoner? Kenny, Kenny, please calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. As long as they don't point, kill Kenny. Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. I don't think so. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just we'll leave us We'll have to wait and we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. Yep. I told you already. He's gone. Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. All right, hey, well. Look at me. You trust me, right? Yes. Kenny, please, just. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll... I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. Yep. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Damn. Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Ah, damn. Poor Kenny, I was ready to fight. I was... Damn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand Damn it. some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Patient with them until it does. Mm -hmm. It takes solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. One of the things that I hate about the Carver, he looks like the guy that from The Last of Us that come on, try to do shit with the Ellie. Wait until morning. We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. We need him. I need my dad. I I can't. He's he looks after me. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Yep. Thanks, Clem. No problem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. 
Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Prosper. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light. Oh, so not that bad, I guess. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. Do you trust him? Do you trust him? I don't know. He's nice, if that's what you mean. It's not. Oh, then yeah. I, I don't know. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, no, it Clemens? doesn't. Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. <laughs> Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me be in the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. No, that's not her. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. It's probably bullshit. Who's the weirdo? Hmm? Who? The one staring at us. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. I swear Reggie. I know her. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying. Oh it's my not as God! Bad as think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident. It's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. He killed Alvin too. Yeah. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. 
Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, uh. I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Okay, sure. Uh, thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, but if she doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night yeah. and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Mm -hmm. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. Same. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, this water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking, and there's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here. Hell no. Over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. Walker just snuck around and ruled this place like he'd done it before. Some two or three swings, but still alive. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you gonna do? Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? So, how'd you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. On my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her, it's Rajiv. Then, I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. And that's when I thought, I should really get out hmm. of this. Hmm, looks rickety. Oh. Hey, Clem. Nick? Just thinking about Lou. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? I don't know. I've known him for damn near 20 years now. Never. I can't buy it. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah. Us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. <laughs> Good night. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the woman. Yeah, like that. This statue. Mike already said to not talk to Mike, so it's fine. 
to this, I'm just gonna go to this gate. In the worst case scenario, I'll get shot at Bridget Hills. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? Yep. It's your decision. Of course I am. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Yep. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Honestly, part of why I love... Oh. What the crap? Alright. these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. Oh, you go for it? The game closed itself. Of it's course I am. Decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good. Good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Bill's gonna have a word. Is the bill or Carver? Walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning. But that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay, the wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice oh my god. Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. Are you serious? Um, sorry. I, Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, um, sorry, sir. I know. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. What the How fuck? do you propose that One I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... Overzealous. God Is damn. That the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. 
It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Damn it. Do it. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Oh, armory? Are you guys dumb? God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. You fucked but up, Bonnie. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but... I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but uh. it's all I can offer right now. Okay. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. I was hungry. I was hungry. They didn't feed you? Bill said you'd eat every night. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I... I don't have anything. I'm sorry. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. They should have left. approached me about it. I, I thought he was crazy. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Yeah. Take the situation with the herd. Yeah. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Herds have come through before? Yeah. It's happened a few times. We've always come out on the other end, all right. It's something I think about whenever I consider leaving. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. Yeah, you respect Sounds like you really respect him. It's not that. I just have sympathy for the man. Even though sometimes it's hard for him to do the same. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. 
I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Oh, well, thanks. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's kind of kinda ugly. Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Well, oh. this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. <laughs> I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. <laughs> I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Follow me. Come I thought on. she wouldn't have got it, like, taking that seriously. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Hey. You want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming, though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Yeah. Carver hit me super hard. Because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, it looked like it. No, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Phil yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Mm -hmm. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Phil's had it out for me ever since I helped yeah. those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Alright. That <laughs> was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> Come on, let me do it. Hey. Come on, work. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> just checking in. 
See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm, Shut up, so... shut up. Shut the fuck up. God you damn. better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Bro, shut up. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! God damn! Real piece of shit. <laughs> oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe no. it was just an accident. Nope. You keep thinking that, Bonnie. You keep thinking that. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Need to go find out what happened. Uh huh, uh huh. You'll get killed. Hey, Troy. Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Yo, shut Follow up. Follow them cables. Weakest defense I've ever seen. It really is the weakest. nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you... <laughs> Sis, fucking grab something! Goddamn. Bonk! Bonk!
Come on. God damn. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Bro, come down. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? God damn. What a name. Hello? No! Hey! Stop! Hey! It's me! Luke, okay, just calm down. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I was worried. We all were. Now it's good to see you too, kid. Yeah. All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. Down. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be all soon. Alright, alright. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes. Are you feeling okay? Got out. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes, sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment, but yeah. I get it. Yeah, I'm fine, okay? Don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Yep. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. All right. I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? All right. Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. All right, yeah, I can. I'll be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all. All right. Here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. I got you. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. No problem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? Hey. I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. All right. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again, and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. All right. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So yeah. get on up there. Whatever. Now. So on the real note, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to slap that like button, comment down below, and please do consider subscribing since I upload daily content every single day, and you guys do not want to miss any of it. And I will actually see y'all in the next one. Say, so guys, what the fuck? Yo, that dude. I know that dude. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. God like damn. Play. See you guys in the next one.